Today on the Metal Roofing Channel, we are learning what are metal shingles. What's up everybody, I'm Thad Barnett from Sheffield Metals and the Metal Roofing Channel. Welcome to our Stamped Metal Roofing Series. I'm really excited about this one. We've got Todd Miller from Isaiah Industries. Todd, thanks again for being here. Thank you very much. So today we're gonna to learn what are metal shingles, also known as stamped metal products, modular panels. Mm -hmm. So let's jump right into it. Todd, tell me a little bit about what are metal shingles. Sure, so the big thing that really differentiates them from vertical seam type metal roofs is that vertical seam type metal roofs typically are run continuous lengths from the bottom of the roof up to the peak. In some cases, oftentimes unfortunate cases, they may have to lap them, but generally they're continuous right. length. These products, on the other hand, are what we call modular panels. So they are smaller panels, all just the same size panel, but they go up on the roof in sort of a staggered fashion so that you don't get a lot of repetition. Mm -hmm. But again, they're, they're, they're modular panels that lock together on all four sides. So some folks call it a roof in a box because you don't have to worry about shipping long panels. It's not run at the job site at all. Comes from a factory in cartons, palletized, and shipped right to job sure. sites in a lot of cases. Yeah, and we can see a couple examples here, and they're installed with courses, just like a, right. an asphalt shingle type product, courses up the roof like you were explaining. Now, I'm really excited about this series that we're gonna be discussing, because we're gonna talk about installation, we're gonna talk about how they perform in weather, and a lot of other really interesting things about this kind of product. So tell me, uh, what materials are they made of? Sure. So property owners have their selection. Um, you can get products made out of pre-painted steel or pre-painted aluminum. Uh, there are also copper uh, shingle, metal shingles available, zinc metal shingles. Okay. Uh, so really it's, they, it runs a whole gamut Yeah. folks can decide. And of course, when you're talking about the painted products, there's tons of colors there again that they can choose also. Yeah, absolutely. And I've seen some of these, uh, they look just like slate, stone, tile, uh, they do a really great job with these finishes. Yeah, that's something that really has happened in probably the last about 10 years. We really have seen uh, development of what we call print coat technology, and that's where the metal is painted, but you can have two or three or even four different colors on the metal um, to really be able to get a, a pattern that looks like maybe wood or slate or or something else. If I'm a homeowner interested in this product, what are some things and considerations that I need to know? Yeah, I think a great thing is that oftentimes if a homeowner lives in an HOA, they're concerned because their HOA may say no metal roofs. And a lot of times those HOAs though, once they see some of the metal shingle products and they realize that, gee whiz, these look great on our on homes and they increase yeah. our values and our curb appeal. Um, a lot of times they'll accept these products Whereas maybe right now, they're not so sure about accepting vertical seam products. Yeah. Down the road, I'm sure they're gonna accept vertical seam products as well, because metal roofing is just becoming ubiquitous. I mean, it's just every Absolutely, place. yeah. So talk to me about weatherability, how they do in weather, what's the durability lifespan of these products? You know, big difference between these and the products that they emulate, such as shingles or wood shakes or slate or tile, is that the panels actually actively engage with each other. So you've got interlocks on all sides of the panels. Most of the products that are, are these shingle style products also have concealed fasteners. Mm -hmm. um, there's a few out there with exposed fasteners, but most of them are designed with concealed fasteners. So it's all designed to be a very, very weather tight roof system that, you know, a lot of times will say it, it protects the home like armor plate because you end up with this continuous cover on the entire right. roof that is fully interlocking, fully engaged, fully secured. Now when it comes to lifespan, tell me, uh, is, is this roof going to last over time? Absolutely. And, and one of the benefits of the metal shingles is we're pretty much only using PVDF uh, coatings. And one of the things that we all say about metal roofs is it all starts with the finish. Yep. You can have a great product and a lousy finish on it, and it's going to perform as well as the lousy finish. Yeah. So you want to make sure that you have a quality finish. And those of us who are playing in this arena with the higher end metal shingles um, really focus on that. And, and 
for the most part, I think are strictly using PVDF coatings uh, to get homeowners that durability, that fade resistance, that talk resistance, that ability to keep their home looking great for the long term. Yeah, absolutely. And like I said, we're gonna be having videos about every single thing that we talk about today. But let's jump into just a brief overview of cost. Where among other roofing systems could you expect a metal shingle to generally land? It's a great question. Something homeowners always ask about. So first of all, I would say that typically the customer of these products and tends to stay in their house for at least 10 to 15 years. Um, a lot of times it's the people who say, they're gonna carry me out of this house. Yeah. Um, they know that they're gonna be in that house through at least one more re-roofing cycle. Based upon where they live, that re-roofing cycle could be as little as five years or it could be 15 or 20 years if they're in a very moderate climate. But the point is that they're gonna pay more for these products, perhaps two, three times what they would pay for asphalt shingles. Um, but their payback comes over the long term. Plus they get payback of energy efficiency, increased sure. home value, things like that. Generally speaking, these cost-wise will fall into line with some of the other better products out there. Um, wood shakes, probably a little less than slate, um, maybe similar to tile, but okay. some of the other more premium roof systems that are available. And speaking of those other roof systems, I think one of the benefits of metal shingles is its weight. When it comes to slate and tile, those are very heavy products. Talk to me about the weight difference here. Sure, so you'd look at a tile product. Um, it may weigh as much as 20 pounds a square foot. Asphalt shingles typically are any place from three to four, four and a quarter pounds a square foot. Um, wood shakes are usually around seven to eight pounds. Um, slate can be around 14, 15 pounds. A steel roof, on the other hand, typically is gonna weigh in right around a pound a square foot, right. give or take, yep. depending upon the product. An aluminum product probably is gonna weigh in closer to about a half a pound okay. a square foot. So one of the things that we talk a lot about with metal roofing, and, and I know you folks here at the Metal Roofing Channel do this a lot, but we talk about this high strength, low weight ratio of metal. Um, it's just tremendous because you've got this incredible strength, but yet compared to other materials, really quite low weight. Yeah, that's a great point. And the viewers on the Metal Roofing Channel come from all over the country and all over the world. So talk to me about how these products uh, fare in snow versus hot weather climates, different climates around yeah. the world. And it's interesting because in all areas, they have some sort of severe weather. Yeah. It may be heat, it may be sun, it may be ice, snow, high winds, whatever, firestorms. Every area of every climate zone has some sort of extreme weather it has to put up with. And yet what we find is that metal has benefits for each of those. Uh, so up north, the resiliency of metal doesn't crack and become brittle the way that other products do in the cold weather. Um, it retains its strength as far as snow loading and things like that. On the other hand, in the southern climates, it doesn't melt in the hot weather. Yep. Um, you don't see the oils evaporating and the pan, the you know, shingles starting to curl like you have happen with asphalt right. shingles. Um, and likewise, as we talked about earlier, the way they interlock, very beneficial in terms of wind resistance. Um, and of course, you also have most of these products um, are at least eligible for a class A fire rating. Mm -hmm. uh, so the bottom line is, doesn't make any difference what climate you're in. There's some real benefits to the resiliency and the, the weather resistance of metal. Lastly, why don't we talk about warranties? Tell me what type of warranties you can expect with these type of products. Sure. So what we'll see a lot of times, um, the warranties are typically lifetime for the initial owner. And then after that owner sells the house, the warranty will typically transfer to a lot of times I'll see 40 year warranty, sometimes 50 years. Homeowners have to watch a little bit. Sometimes they get into a 50 year warranty, it's gonna be prorated. Um, maybe the 40 year warranties are not prorated, which is a benefit to the homeowner and to future owners. Um, they also have to look a little bit. Some of the warranties will transfer just one time to one future owners uh, or one future owner. Other warranties out there though will transfer as many times as that house is sold during the 40 or 50 years after the roof is yeah. installed. Great thing about metal roofing though is a lot of times you know, we buy something that has a warranty and by the time it hits the end of that warranty, that product is shot. Yeah. I mean, it's done with. Metal roofing, that isn't the case. Um, a lot of times these warranties are very specific on the paint finish. So yeah, maybe at year 50, you have to repaint the roof, but that's a whole lot cheaper, a um, whole lot easier than replacing the roof. Uh, I can take you to older homes around here, right here in Ohio, where we are today, that have metal roofs that have been up since the late 1800s. Wow. 
and they've just been well maintained and they're still servicing the homes just fine. That's awesome. And you know, there's so many considerations when it comes to this product. So if you wanna learn more, please click the subscribe button down below. We're gonna be releasing videos with Todd at, at Isaiah Industries here in Ohio uh, every single week for the next several weeks. So make sure you do that. Comment down below if you have any questions. Todd, thank you so much. Thank you. Really appreciate it. We'll catch you again next time.